Well, it's Friday. We're still at home. Been at home all week getting the truck fixed. If you haven't been keeping up, we had a fuel leak in our passenger side tank. Got that fixed. And a transmission fluid leak from one of the lines uh, under the truck. That's fixed as well. The truck's all ready to go. There's no freight ready to go though, that's the problem. So we're leaving on Sunday. So we have today and tomorrow, and then we're leaving the day after that. The weather has not been cooperating for this unscheduled vacation. We're over halfway through April here in 2024, and it's snowing. If I'm gonna be at home for a week, it would have been nice to have some warmer weather so we could sit outside, but it is what it is. Making the most of it. <laughs> we'll be back on the road soon though. I'm enjoying this time. Take take advantage of the time you have at home, right? Old man weasel. Old man, I am not old. I am not old. I'm seasoned. Sorry, weasel. Sorry. Yes. Absolutely. You're going to be turning 13 this summer. 13 is the new six. Right? Just catching up on my news. My morning routine, I guess, while I'm not at work. But Chevy here, he's very concerned about the state of the world. <laughs> so, like everything in trucking, the plans have changed. Remember we say, plan for plan to change? We're still going to Saskatoon. We're still going to deliver that load. <laughs> he was very excited about this. To get an extra day at home. Uh, we have to leave on Monday instead of Sunday. Because they want it there. Tuesday at 11 a.m. Now Saskatoon's in central time, so I won't be gaining any time going there this time because during the summer they're the same time as Manitoba in central, but they don't do daylight savings time. So in the winter time, no wait, this is backwards. I got that backwards. They are in mountain time right now, so I do gain an hour there. I know it's exciting. Anyways, that's that's besides the point. We'll be leaving Monday now, so I get an extra day at home. Yeah, an extra day at home. <laughs> we'll take advantage of it. So I've shown you my birthday gift that I got from my wife, right? A heated mug. Because, you know, with a young one running around the house, I don't know if you guys experience this, but the coffee's always cold. <laughs> You're always running after them. So this way my coffee is always hot. <laughs> I love it. I've been using it every day. What? What is going on? It just won't stop snowing. What in the world? Where is springtime? We had one day of spring. One day. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of work in the new office all day today. It's not perfect. It's not finished. I'm putting a new curtain rod up there yet. That's already in the closet there, but behold, the new Trekker Josh office. I've got a calendar at my shop from PBX that I'm going to put up there. Find me a space that's, you know, kind of, kind of set up. That's Britt's big poster of her and her sister. I'm not sure where we're going to put it, but for now it can be there. And that's my cue. I'm being summoned. You coming to help? Help eat you. We gotta cook them first. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. We're gonna use the whole grill. Yeah, we're gonna go down here. Yeah. We don't mess around the whole thing. For six. 
sausage burgers. Mm -mm -mm. Farmer sausage, excuse me. Farmer sausage burgers. Chevy, I don't need your help, but thanks for offering. I appreciate it. Beautiful day out. It's finally feeling a little more like spring. We just went for a nice walk. Diesel stayed home. We took Chevy. Now you're a little clingy. I'm just going to say it's because you really like me. Not because I'm holding this. I really hope that we're done with the snow now. We got the buns, we got the onions, we got the, what is that? Greek pasta, feta salad, we got potato salad. We are set. Oh yeah. Thought I could do this with just a fork. Oh yeah, I'm good. Didn't want to dirty all my barbecue utensils. Just for a couple of burgers, but maybe I should have. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, these are pretty much done. Ooh, yeah. Those are. Ooh. Come on. This is what I get for trying to be fancy. Yeah. I'll just use a fork. It'll be easy. Jeez. That's what I get. All right, we want to turn it all the way down on low now because those got done a lot quicker than I thought they would. Definitely should have used the <laughs> the barbecue spatula for that. <laughs> but I told my wife I was coming out here to do it with a fork. And if I go back in there to get the spatula, I'm going to have to admit that I was wrong. We can't do that. All right, Chevy. So last weekend, it's a uh, Saturday today when I'm filming this. So last Saturday, I was still at home. I've been home this whole time. We cleaned up this backyard. That tree in the center there, it's dead. We need to pull it out and replace it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it out and we're actually gonna plant one, two, three, four. Four fast growing trees, somewhat similar to those there, just at the back there. That's the plan right now. We'll see if the plan changes. These trees are budding like crazy already, so they'll be green in a couple of weeks. That's exciting. It's too bad that one's dead though. It's gonna be a little bit of a hassle to pull that out of there. Well, it's big enough that the roots are gonna be in there pretty good already. Any of you got any tips for pulling out a small tree? All right, these are done. I wish I could share the smell with you through the video. These are nothing fancy, just regular farmer sausage patties, but you throw them on a bun with some mayonnaise, some barbecue sauce. Mm, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. Some cheese. Oh yeah. Ooh, thank you. That's a burger. It's a little burger. That's okay, There's more than one. Well, Blue, I came to visit you because I missed you. I missed you, did you miss me? Oh, don't, don't be like that. Don't be mad at me. I have not been ignoring you. That is not true. That is not true. I've been busy. I'm a dad now. So we're leaving tomorrow morning from when I'm filming this clip right now. Those are my tarps down here. I'm gonna have to get those up there. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon. 
Uh, Britt has an ultrasound appointment uh, for IVF. Uh, well, not IVF through fertility, uh, trying to grow our family. But she has an appointment in the morning. She's got to go into Winnipeg, so I'm watching our son in the morning. And when she gets back by around about 10, somewhere around there, her appointment's at 8. And she should be back by about 10 a.m. Then I'm coming here, and I'd like to have it as, as ready to go as possible so that I can just jump in the truck and go. So I've brought all my stuff here today. I'm going to get it into the truck and uh, get ready to go. Tomorrow we are picking up our load, which is already in our yard. It came from Wisconsin. Uh, it's waiting there for me. I'm taking it the rest of the way to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, about nine hours west of here, into the province to our west. So uh, it's going to be fun. I haven't gone that way in a while. I've, I missed it. You know, like I said, I get bored doing the same thing over and over again. Like I love my Kenora runs. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't want that to come across that way. I love them, but. I also like switching it up and doing other stuff. So I'm excited to go to Saskatoon tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, as much as I love being at home with my family, I, I really do. And I'm very conflicted about saying this next sentence, but I'm going to say it anyways. I'm really excited to get back in the truck and go to work. I'm, I'm really excited. Not because I want to get away from my family. I don't want to leave. That's why I'm conflicted. It's hard to leave, but at the same time, oh, I missed the road already. It's been over a week. I miss you, Blue. We'll be together again soon, okay? And this is my calendar from PBX, uh, Peter Bill of Steinbeck. Uh, I'm gonna take it out of the shop here because I'm honestly, I'm not here that often. I'm gonna put it in the office at home. I got a nice spot for it in front of my desk there. I'm gonna take that with me. Got my house banner right there. I'm gonna leave that here in the shop. Uh, and all my bull snot stuff, bull snot posters. I'll leave that here in the shop for now. I'm just gonna move this. And speaking of PBX, Peterbilt of Steinbeck, uh, you're going to be hearing me talk about this more in the future, but they're having a truck show, a working truck show, this year, end of July, July 26th, 2024. My truck has entered in. Old Blue will be there. I'd love it if you guys came too. We have two, tr two truck shows now in our local Steinbeck area this summer. I'm looking forward to both of them. On June 8th, we have the Southeast Truck Show here in Steinbeck. And on July 26th, a little over a month later, we have a truck show right at their yard in Blumenort, at PBX Truck Service. I'm going to talk about it more in the future. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I, and I want to see as many of you there as possible. It's going to be a lot of fun. Doc Walker is going to be headlining, along with uh, four other live bands throughout the day. We'll get into that more in the coming weeks. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's too bad it's not a Kenworth calendar, right? But it's because PBX, where I get all my truck work done, they are a Peterbilt service center. But Peterbilt Kenworth are, are the same thing. They're the exact same thing. I, I believe they're the, even the same owners, aren't they? Same thing. So all of the parts work on both trucks. That's why my truck goes there, because the technicians there are trained and certified specifically to work on Peterbilt Kenworth trucks, right? But officially, they're Peterbilt. And that's okay. I love Peterbilts. Honestly... If a Peterbilt 379, 389 would have come up for sale at the right time when I was looking, I would have put some serious consideration into it. I am not opposed to having a Peter <coughs> Peterbilt. Excuse me. <clears throat> that was hard to say. <coughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Honestly, I, between Peterbilt and Kenworth, those are my favorite trucks. My two favorite trucks. All right, and there we go. What do you guys think? I think it's good. Now all I gotta do is replace that curtain rod up there. And I have that somewhere in here, right there. It's gonna be We will get to that, but I've got to get to work tomorrow. Yeah. That picture here, uh, Britt told me her dad is actually taking that. That's of her and her sister. They got it done at the Red River X in 2000. That's when they were a lot younger. That was me and my hockey team.
And that's it for today. Tomorrow we're back in the truck. So don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss it. I'm looking forward to going back on the road, but it's going to be tough, tougher than usual to leave again because I've been home for a while and you get used to that. But man's got to work, right? All this stuff doesn't just show up. We need to put food on the table and keep this roof over our heads. So I'm getting back to work tomorrow. I'll see you then. Sounds like I'm needed out there. <laughs>